My studio is at my house. It's um, it's inseparable from the rest of the house, just like my art is inseparable from the rest of my life. If it's it's all connected. I tend to start surrounding myself with uh, all of these little inspirations. I like collecting. I'll kind of go about my day with a watchful eye. There's always something out there, and if I'm if I'm feeling like showing up and taking note, I take note. Life in New Orleans is, is an art form in itself because it, it's so much about what you are putting into it, what your, your participation is integral to the whole. The people, they make sense to me here, and when I go other places, all I'm really doing is taking a long route back, back here. When my work is going really well, I'm, I'm filled with this sense of appropriateness, knowing that um, there's no there's nowhere else I should be. I love the life cycle of art. When I make a piece and someone buys it, people always ask me, Does it, is it hard to sell your work? But the best part is knowing that once you send something out into the world, it, it lives on. This piece is about discovery, as in like self-discovery. I wanted to visualize that as if, if one had um, been able to continuously grow their hair over a lifetime, what, what evidence would be left. Like in theater, in a play, when there's a moment when the character has a moment of self-discovery when suddenly they know some integral part of the story comes to light. The piece goes in a sort of chronological order from a kind of birth to a deterioration of life toward the end of the braid. It, it becomes gray and mossy and the death of self-discovery. <laughs> 